we're talking about secant, and here we're going to do an example of how to find a secant. So we've talked about the general idea of calculus, we've talked about the equation of a secant, and now we're actually going to look at an example. So we're going to look at the example of f of x equals 3x squared. Now 3x squared is a function that looks something like this. It looks a lot like 3x squared, it just increases at a much faster rate. So what I want to do is I want to find what is the secant line between the point 1 and the point 3? So I want to find what is the slope between these two points. Or rather, what is the average rate of change between 1 and 3? Well, how do I do that? Well, let's go ahead and rewrite the equation we had for the slope of the secant. So the slope of the secant is f of x2 minus f of x1 all over x2 minus x1. All right, so my function is 3x squared. So my x2 is 3, my x1 is 1. And so I'm just going to plug these numbers in. So I get f of x is 3, x2 is 3, so it's 3 squared minus f of x1 which is 3 times 1 squared, all over x2 minus x1, which is 3 minus 1. So this is equal to 9 times 3, which is 27, minus 1 squared times 3, which is 3, all over 2. So this is equal to 24 divided by 2, which is equal to 12. And what that 12 tells us is the slope of this line right here is 12, or the average rate of change between the points 1 and 3 is 12. Now I can do this for other points. I can choose any point on this curve and look at that. So I can look at the point from negative 2 to 1, and I can solve that. All I have to do is just plug that into here. So let's look, look at that example. So I have f of x2, so that's 3 times, well in this case I'm going to say that x1 now is x2, and negative 2 is x1. So I do 3 times 1 squared minus 3 times negative 2 squared, all over 1 minus a negative 2. So this is equal to 1 squared times 3, which is 3 minus negative 2 squared, which is 4, times 3, 12, all over 1 minus negative 2 is a 1 plus 2, all over 3. So this is equal to negative 9 over 3, which is equal to negative 3. So that, going back with number negative 3, that tells me the slope of this line right here is negative 3. So for every 1 that we go over, y will go up by negative 3.